they are not just the officers that we see on the streets and the patrol cars, but they're our friends, they're our neighbors, they're community members, and they are so invested in what happens in this community, and they engage themselves in so many different ways, um, not just through enforcement of the laws, but about prevention. They go to neighborhood block parties, they go to meetings when they're asked to, they're involved in so many different community programs, and they do it because they really care about Santa Cruz, and they want to be part of a positive change in our community. Transparency is really, really important to me as the police chief. As I like to tell people when I talk to them, I don't want people to drive by the police department in Santa Cruz and think that it's Willy Wonka's chocolate factory and not know what happens inside the building. We have a Citizens Academy program that we offer a couple of times a year. We do that both in Spanish and in English. Um, we now have a program geared toward our teenage population. We call that the Teen Public Safety Academy, and that was another one of my initiatives that I started uh, after I became the chief. One of the other initiatives that I put forward when I became the police chief was uh, a citizens advisory committee. Uh, we've never had such a thing in Santa Cruz, so I, I developed a, an advisory committee of about eight to ten uh, community members, and we meet uh, on a, on a bi-monthly basis, and uh, we bounce ideas off this group of citizens about things that we're thinking about doing or things that we've already done in the police department and kind of get feedback. So that's that's really one of the ways that I'm able to keep my, my finger on the pulse of what's happening uh, in the community and really solicit first-hand community input about things we're doing at the police department is to, to bounce these ideas off this group of citizens. We have done a number of other things also on the technology side. We've introduced predictive policing to the world and uh, that's really uh, a way for us to try and use our resources much more efficiently. We've partnered up with a professor over at Santa Clara University and uh, we were actually one of the very first cities uh, in the country to, to use this uh, predictive policing model and it's proven to be an efficient and an effective tool for us. Uh, so we're very proud of that. We're the first police agency across the nation to develop a mobile app for your smartphone. You can carry around uh, just a, a ton of information in the palm of your hand by downloading our mobile app uh, to your smartphone, either from the App Store, from Apple, or, or from Google Play, if you have an Android-based telephone. It has been such an honor to be mayor this year, and I cannot tell you the amount of collaboration that I've done with the police department and how critical that's been to getting through this year. It is um, tremendous, the amount of work and the commitment and the level of professionalism that every single officer on our force has managed this year given what we've been faced. And we are so fortunate to have these men and women serving us in Santa Cruz. This has been a difficult year for the police department. Um, the events of February 26th when uh, Sergeant Butch Baker and Detective Elizabeth uh, Butler were, were shot and killed uh, were exceptionally hard on everyone in this organization. The men and women that work here have proven their resiliency and uh, they've come back I would say stronger than they were before February 26th and they just do a phenomenal job uh, serving this community and I'm, I'm very proud of the work that the men and women of the Santa Cruz Police Department do. One piece that I would like to offer the community that we don't often think about when we think about our officers is the families that are behind those officers and that was something that I've always thought about but it has never been brought more to my attention than it has this year is that um, for every officer that's out on the street there's a family waiting for them when they get home and as much as we should give our appreciation to our officers we need to remember to thank their families too because every time they leave their homes to go off to work for all of us uh, there's somebody waiting for them to come back and that doesn't always happen. I'd like to take the opportunity to really uh, thank the community once again for the outpouring of support that we felt at the police department following uh, February 26th. When I got back to the police department that night, there had already been a, uh, an organic memorial that had started to form at the front steps of the police department. There were candles, there were flowers. The community had already started to reach out to us. Just the showing of support we saw in the days, weeks, and, and months that have followed those tragic events has been unbelievable. Uh, the financial contributions to the family, the, as I mentioned, the flowers, the, the fresh baked goods that showed up at the police department, um, the cards, the letters, the, just the love that this community showed to this police department following the loss of, of Butch and Elizabeth was was incredible. So for that, we just I want to say thank you to the community as, as their police chief. Congratulations, Santa Cruz Police Department, on being Organization of the Year. If it were up to me, you would be the Organization of the Year every year. I cannot thank you enough for all you do for our community. I'd like to remind the community of the thing that I tell my children every day, is every time you see an officer, please wave and say thank you. You have no idea the sacrifices they make on our behalf every single day, and we need to be appreciative of them in our daily lives.
I'd, I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, extend my appreciation and my thanks to the men and women of the Santa Cruz Police Department. I believe that I have the most dedicated team of individuals working for me, uh, probably than any, any police department that I'm aware of. We have such a fantastic group of people, and I just really appreciate the hard work that they do day in, day out to keep this community safe. Uh, it's, it's because of the team of officers that work for me that, that everybody sleeps uh, under that blanket of security every night. And so to that, I, I really thank them. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the Chamber of Commerce for this recognition of the Santa Cruz Police Department as the organization of the year. To me as the police chief, uh, commerce really means more than just exchanging uh, dollars within our community. Uh, commerce really means healthy activity in our community. And as the chief of police for the police department, uh, I feel like that we really have the opportunity to Im impact and influence that healthy activity in our community by um, improving the quality of life, uh, problem solving, and uh, in encouraging people to want to come to Santa Cruz by creating a safe environment for everyone.